On July the 11th, 1951, the Americans launched an assault on the eastern coast of England. On the second wave of that assault was a sergeant named Nathan Hale. The actions of that soldier have become a matter of both scrutiny and myth. What follows are the known events of his life from July 11th to July the 14th, the day he was last seen. had no idea what they would soon be facing. The US government had sealed its borders in 1950. Radio waves and newspapers became state property. Only the highest levels of their government knew the truth. The operation was an exchange. The Americans were bringing supplies and tanks into York. We were giving them our one secret weapon, something we could offer that they couldn't build themselves. I was the commander of the convoy team that was to meet the US soldiers. We were ambushed in Manchester on the way to the rendezvous. There was no way to warn the Americans. They were on their own in York, fighting an enemy they knew nothing about. We never learnt exactly what happened there. All we know is that Nathan Hale was the sole survivor. No, no, no! No one knows exactly how Hale was infected by the Khmeran virus. Our only clue is a journal entry recovered from the body of a US medic. It says that he encountered a number of comatose soldiers in a dry creek bed. One of the soldiers, a sergeant, suddenly woke up. Unlike the other soldiers, his body had no wounds at all. The sergeant refused any kind of medical examination, insisting on catching up to the rest of the company. If that sergeant was in fact Nathan Hale, then he remains the only known person to wake up after being infected. Whether the Khmeran virus mutated within him or whether his body had an innate resistance to it remains a mystery. Well thought. We might just hold this little piece of heaven. Tabazzini, bring those tanks in here and scrape out a landing zone. Sir! Incoming! We know from the craters that the Chimera ended the battle by launching spires. There is no defense against a spire attack. By the time you see them in the air, it's already too late. After impact, the spires release swarms of crawlers. Literally thousands of them can come from a single spire. Whole cities have been infected in minutes. After the crawlers have done their work, the Chimera send in carriers to collect the dormant victims. The role of the carriers is to transport infected humans to conversion centers. It's at these locations that the Khmeran creatures are born. Hale was brought to a conversion center in the town of Grimsby. My convoy team and I were imprisoned at the same location. We had been captured uninfected, so we were put in makeshift pens until they could infect us. Sergeant Hale, First Rangers. An American? We thought the Chimera stopped all of you in York. Chimera? 
those creatures. Oh, you jammed it. I'm sorry, Hale. Looks like you'll have to find your own way out. I'll be in touch. Frequency 77.6. It was strange enough that a lone American soldier was walking around a Khmeran conversion center, but it was his eyes that were most disturbing. They showed unmistakable Khmeran traits. It was subtle, but it was there. Whoever Nathan Hale was, he wasn't entirely human. The tower must be shut down from the inside! You have to take us closer! Negative! Recon sent in a fleet of sabers to clear an air corridor, and we lost contact with every one of them! You all right, Lieutenant? Dr. Malikov, stay with the escort and be ready for dust off in case of trouble. We'll radio after we clear the path of the tower. feeling, Nathan? Mostly human. When Capelli found you, the virus had progressed too far. I kept you comatose while I searched for a cure, but now I... I am so sorry, Nathan. How long do I have? Three hours, if we are lucky. After Iceland, their ships rolled over Sirpa bases coast to coast. They dug up towers we didn't even know about. Then two days ago, the fleet started moving south. Command tracked it down to Mexico. Whole fleet just hovering there near the Gulf. No one knows what to make of it. Did the perimeter hold up? <sighs> the perimeter. The perimeter's gone. All we have left is the Baton Rouge protection camp. Three million people who haven't seen so much as a supply truck in weeks. If we don't do something now, it's only a matter of time before they starve to death. Or worse. So, are you gonna make your last hours count? Because if not, I'd like to know in advance. Let's go.
Just once. I wish you'd try landing one of these things. Forgive me, sir. It was an honor. 